Okay, so this is our uh, Cabri, and he's a poodle, and he's presenting because he's lame in his right hind leg, and he has a condition called uh, medial patella luxation, mm -hmm. and that's very common in this breed of dog and crosses of poodles. Mm -hmm. It's common in quite a few different other breeds as well, a lot of Pomeranians, um, Cavaliers. Uh, we see this in um, many dogs. Mm -hmm. And the um, condition is that his kneecap uh, is not engaging properly in uh, the trochlear groove, which is part of the structure of the, the uh, distal femur, and that is um, occasionally making him lame and a little bit sore maybe. Um, but uh, he's using his leg pretty well, but in the long term he will need to have a surgery to correct and fix this. Um, so we will, most dogs that we see with luxating patella um, are sort of younger dogs, they're sort of two, you can hold him here, two to three years of age, something like that's when they first start presenting and most mm -hmm. of the surgery we do are in this younger age group of dog. Um, but sometimes we'll have older dogs which will present but they're generally a younger dog issue. Mm -hmm. And a lot of dogs will run around and hold their leg up, they might hop and then they're using their leg properly again. Mm -hmm. Some of them are just generally just a little bit lame and some of them will just use one side a bit more than the other and you'll find that they'll have some muscle atrophy. Mm -hmm. And his right leg where his luxating patella is, is um, slightly less muscle on that mm -hmm. side than the left and that's because he's not using it properly. Long term, they develop more arthritis problems and more arthritic conditions in the leg unless the patella is actually in the correct position. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you um, a diagram, uh, a picture here and also a model. We'll start with the model. Um, the, this, these are the structures we're talking about. Um, so this is the patella or kneecap mm -hmm. and it sits in the trochlear groove which mm -hmm. is this groove uh, this is the femur, the, dis the end of the femur, the distal femur. So it's meant to be sitting in a nice straight line like that and the kneecaps run rubbing on articular cartilage here and articular cartilage on the actual patella. Mm -hmm. And when we have a luxation, a luxating patella, the kneecaps outside of the groove, it's on the medial side, that's the inside of the leg which is this part on this particular model. Mm -hmm. And the kneecap is actually rubbing on uh, the uh, non-articular surface of the of the bone here. And that, that's where chronic inflammation will start to occur. Mm -hmm. The other problem is that um, they don't, they're not able to fully engage their quadriceps muscle. Mm -hmm. So the kneecap's driving the force of the quadriceps through the patella tendon oh, okay. and um, that's why they sometimes will hop. He's not hopping because he's compensated for that. He's just not using the leg 100% mm -hmm. but he's a wriggly, fast, jumpy dog. So you don't really see him as a lame dog so much. Mm -hmm. When they first present, when they first have the injury, they often will tear or stretch the joint capsule on the lateral side, mm -hmm. the outside, and that's um, painful initially. So mm -hmm. some dogs actually are presenting painfully, mm -hmm. but when they get to this stage where it's all quite loose and stretched, they've got past that point. Mm -hmm.